In the new game Assassin's Creed Mirage, you will encounter the character Hunayn the Translator. الكتاب قلت لها إنني لن أستطيع هذه ليست لغة نعرفها لكنها لم تمنحني خيارا. This is in fact Hunayn ibn Ishaq. One of the most important and significant scholars of that era, and perhaps of all time, playing a major role in the transmission and survival of science and philosophy. Hunayn ibn Ishaq was an Arab scholar, translator, and scientist originally from Al Hira, close to the city of Kufa. He and his family were Christian, specifically following what is known as Nestorian Christianity, but grew up and lived in the heartland of the Muslim Abbasid Caliphate. Hunayn became a greatly learned man, among other things being able to speak and read not only Arabic, but also Syriac and Greek, which would become very useful later on. Eventually he found himself in Baghdad during the height of the Abbasid Caliphate, what is sometimes referred to as the so-called Golden Age of Islam. The Abbasid Caliphs at that time were great sponsors and patrons of scientific and philosophical advancement. The Prophet Muhammad is thought to have encouraged his community, the Muslims, to quote, seek knowledge even if you have to go to China. And the early Muslim community really took this message to heart. During the 9th century, the Abbasids established the so-called Bayt al-Hikmah, the House of Wisdom, as a great library and center for scholarly activity, similar to other institutions like the ancient Library of Alexandria. The House of Wisdom stored and gathered many books on all kinds of topics from around the world, and in connection with this was started what is known as the Translation Movement, where in order to further knowledge and wisdom, old philosophical and scientific texts from Greece, India and Persia were translated into Arabic and made them accessible to a new audience. And Hunayn ibn Ishaq became perhaps the most significant and successful of all of these translators. Together with his son, Ishaq ibn Hunayn, and other associates, Hunayn painstakingly translated all kinds of texts. Medical texts by Galen and Hippocrates, philosophical treatises by Aristotle and Plato, and many more. He followed an earlier group of translators also connected to the House of Wisdom, led by the Muslim Arab philosopher Al-Kindi. But the translations of Hunayn and his group were superior in most ways, setting a high standard going forward. Hunayn would often translate from Greek into Syriac, and then they would translate from Syriac into Arabic, and they used a methodology that was, in general, very, very successful. The translation movement and the work of Hunayn, among others, became a decisive factor for continuing the transmission of scientific knowledge into the Islamic world, and allowed future thinkers to build and carry on that legacy. There is no Ibn Sina or Ibn Rushd, Avicenna or Averroes, without the works of these translators, which of course has significant ripple effects for the rest of the world too. Indeed, it is through the works of the Muslim and Islamic hate thinkers that much of this knowledge and wisdom survived until today, not only remaining an important factor in the intellectual world of the Middle East, but also eventually making its way into Europe and having massive effects on figures and movements there that would, of course, lead to great advancement in scientific and philosophical thinking. In other words, if it wasn't for Hunayn ibn Ishaq and those associated with him in 9th century Baghdad, the modern world with its scientific advancement probably wouldn't be what it is today. And it really highlights the incredible intellectual environment that was Baghdad during the golden days of the Abbasid Caliphate, where the seeking of wisdom and knowledge was highly valued, not only for its own sake, but also for the benefit of and in connection to religion. And the fact that her name was a Christian is also a good indicator of this environment, where the quest for knowledge was a joint effort, regardless of religious affiliation. It's really heartening to see such an important, yet sadly little known character portrayed in a popular video game. It shows a dedication to historical accuracy and representation that I have come to expect from this franchise and will hopefully lead more people to discover and learn about these amazing and important figures.